Hey guys, got something cool for you here. This video is on how to stream to your Facebook personal page using OBS. So how do we do that? Well, Ian Gray made this nice little write up here and this is how I found out how to do this. I just want to make this into a video so you can actually see it done. This gentleman here made this uh, written tutorial. He gives us a link down here below and I'll have this link here, not this actual one, but this page that we're on right here. I'll have that in the description for you. Just click on broadcast on Facebook Live. You do have many options here. You have like share on your own timeline, share on a friend's timeline, share on a group, share on a page you manage. We want to do it right to our very own, you know, Johnny Guns page that everyone knows me, all my friends and family, grandmother, grandfather, you know, everyone, everyone is on there. And we want them to see what we're up to, which is fun. Some of you may not, but <laughs> you know what I mean. So you hit next after that little pop-up happens, this other pop-up happens. And here is where you get all your goodies. You get to type up whatever's on your mind, like you know, an actual little note of, oh my gosh, I'm stuck with these noobs, blah, 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 but that's okay, we'll, you know, we'll carry her. Just something fun. Add video title. If you don't wanna put anything up here, you can do a video title as well, but tags on the game you're playing and where you're at and all that good stuff. Also, what was it, uh, advance? What is it? Uh, choose where you want this video to appear. Prohibit embedded. Unpublish after a live video ends. You don't have to. By the way, guys, don't play like any copyrighted music. Facebook is super fast at like popping up saying your video is not going to be you know posted after this stream, and they'll be like, oh, there's been copyright material, and you have to delete the video if you don't own the rights. It's kind of annoying. So just have game music or you know like uh, royalty free music in the background. That's what I had to do. Stream key. This is, uh, we don't need this link for OBS. We want this link down here. It's going to be blotted out quite a bit, so you won't see the whole thing. But all you have to do is just double click, right, uh, left, double left click like that, right click, copy. That's all you got to do there. Make sure you have all your fun stuff set up. And that's where you want to go over to OBS. If you're completely not set up, I can't change the profile, but there's profile up here, create new profile. And then in settings, you go to stream, you want to click on Facebook Live, put your stream key. This is where you put your stream key. I'm just gonna get rid of this one and then control V back into there. And you can see it's the same one. The other thing is every time you click on that link to go live and you get a stream key, you have to use that one. It, it like resets or it, um, it uh, gets rid of the old stream key. You can't keep doing it like Twitch where it gives you one unless you go in and actually say, I wanna change my key. Facebook changes it every time. I think that's for security because if someone gets a hold of your stream key on Facebook, that's more, you know, that's your friends and family right there, and, or your customers or your clients or anything, you know. So they change it every time, which is not bad. You just go into settings, go to stream, you copy it for over here, then copy it into stream key, hit apply, and then you can stream. Now output, I recommend 2,500 if your internet supports that. You can go down as low as, as you want. But I find that 2,500, 2,800 kilobits per second work great. Audio bit rate, is yeah i believe it only lets you do 128 let's see we go we don't need this but video is important you want if you've got a 1080 monitor you want to uh, scale it down to 720 at 30 frames you don't want to do 60 because for some reason obs freaks out and it scales it, it ramps up your um encoding like crazy i don't know why but it went from i was like at 2500 and it kept going up it got up to like almost 8,000 kilobits per second maxed out my CPU. I couldn't even play the game I wanted to stream, so it was it was kind of painful there. So you want to stay at 30 frames per second at 720. Once again, Facebook Live, stream key, output 2500, 2800 if your internet supports that. You can probably go higher. I think it's 4000. It says 4000 right here. It's all depending on how you want your computer to operate, but that's the basic the basics of how to set this up. Apply, okay. Now what's going to happen is you're going to hit start streaming. And over here in this little offline, see how it says offline right here? This is gonna turn into a video. This whole little box here with your stream key and the server URL. And then you just go live and that's it. And when you're done, all you have to do is click on stop streaming over here in OBS and you're done. It'll just, uh, Facebook will sense that you're done streaming and it will go into like where it uh, goes through and preps the video for posting as a, a recorded video, if you will, later on for other people to watch. Super fun, go to your Facebook page, your personal page, mute the audio on that so you can monitor it and see the comments that come in. And It's a lot of fun, guys. You can stream whatever you want, like, well, within reason, you know, any game you want, depending on how your computer operates or you browsing the web or maybe you, like, just fun stuff, you know, like within reason, not nothing uh, explicit or anything like that. But 
Just want to show you how to stream to your own personal Facebook page with all your friends and family. If you feel like it, having fun, playing a game, doing some production. Uh, you want to use your computer for it instead of your phone. Sometimes the phone's really annoying because on the computer you can do multiple things. If you have multiple monitors, you can monitor multiple things and do multiple things at the same time. So, yeah, guys, just wanted to give that to you because I spent a whole bunch of time, I think last Tuesday, looking this up and I finally found out how and I just wanted to make it into a video. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps or hope you enjoy it and have some fun with this. Definitely good stuff. All right, you guys take care. We'll see you later.